Hello and welcome to Excel-Templates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog for the latest posts, tips, tricks, and techniques, and learn everything about Excel. Hey, before we get into it, I want to just say a great big thank you to everybody who's given me all the wonderful likes lately and all the new subscribers. If you're not a new subscriber, please click on subscribe now and then click on the bell icon so that you're sure to get the next post delivered directly to your inbox. Really appreciate it. It's helping me grow my channel and uh, you guys are the best. All right, today's quick trip, uh, quick tip is all about formulas in Excel. Now, I'm starting to write some really crazy formulas lately and uh, just uh, getting out of hand. So I wanted to share this technique of something that I've started to do within my formulas so that I can just understand them more um, and uh, hopefully it'll help you as well. All right, so uh, first technique um, of the three that I'm going to show you. You have a formula bar um, and you can see I've uh, it can drag and drop um, this uh, section where you've got your name box here. And if I just kind of highlight and my arrows become double arrows, I can shrink this if I need it. Um, so I'm just going to shrink that for today's video. Um, and then secondarily, the formula bar that you see here, it can be expanded if you just grab um, that where it's a double arrow right above the row uh, letters. You can expand that to be uh, quite large if needed um, so that you can see your formulas a lot more clearly. All right, the next technique when you're creating any sort of like if statement, some sort of conditional, uh, you can get out of hand with what you're doing. Um, and what I really suggest is doing uh, uh, after you've expanded your formula bar is to add some break lines in here. So this is going to be much like a text editor that developers use so that they can really understand how their formulas break, where their loops are, that sort of stuff. Now, we don't have loops in here. You might have that in VBA. However, we do have complicated nested if statements or or statements. Um, I'll show you a choose one here in a second that has multiple choices. Uh, and so the technique that I recommend is clicking anywhere in your formula that you want to create this break. Uh, first, I'm going to do it on this or statement here so, um, and the if statement. So right in between the if, you can see I'm just moving my mouse around with my arrows. I'm going to hit the Alt key and then hit the Enter key. And you can see that, that creates a line break. And then I'm going to space over until the or is kind of lined up with the if. Uh, and then I'm going to go over into the two different choices that I have or. Or A1 equals B2 or B3 equals B4. I'm just going to break this or statement up as well so that I can do Alt Enter and space that along so I can see all my choices there as well. Once again, that's Alt Enter. And uh, now, so we've got my if statement broken up. So if, um, and if you don't want to do that, you can also uh, just remove the or statement and put that back there. Maybe that makes more sense. Depends on what your sense and sensibility is. So if or equals uh, A1 or uh, equals B2 or B3 equals B4, um, and then what I'd like to do is I'm going to do Alt Enter before this yes, so we can see what our statement is. Um, yes, and then I'm going to, then I'm also going to break uh, the note onto another line. Do Alt Enter. I'm going to space this over. Um, so the formula has become a lot more readable. I probably like the hard return next to the or as well, so that I can say, okay, what is my values um, when it becomes uh, an if statement. So if either of these two are true, this is my conditional. This is my value if true. This is my value if false. Uh, so very simple solution here. If you hit enter, the formula still works. It shows you up in the formula bar that it's still there and working. Um, so everything's all good. All right, so let's click on a more complicated formula here. And as you can see, I've already broken it up um, into more reasonable sections uh, so that you can understand this formula a lot quicker and more easily um, get back when you have to edit it. So we've got an if statement. We've got this or statement here that says uh, if highlighted category equals none or highlighted category equals right. If either of those are true, then I'm going to jump into this next if statement. And I'm going to check the length of this one field. And if that is greater than zero, then there's our true value and there's our false value. Um, and so this is the true value um, for that first if statement. And then my second one is the false value 
for the next if statement. And we're saying if base category is less than one, then do uh, double quotes. Or else we've got this choose here. And I'm saying, hey, give me my highlighted choice value. So this is a number between uh, one and four. If it equals one, then do this. If it equals two, then do this if statement. If it equals three, then do this if statement. So um, the choose says, based on a number, um, choose the net one of the next position. So if it's uh, the number one, this is your first value. This is your second value, third value. So the formula just becomes a lot easier to read. Um, and uh, um, let's go ahead and take away all of the uh, the different spaces and hard returns and you can see how complicated this formula can look so you can just add these where it makes sense um, you don't have to do it everywhere it's going to be user choice uh, but you can see that this formula starts to get pretty complicated uh, pretty fast and we've got just a few more here to do and let's clean up that space there as well um, and let me just hit delete there, hit enter. The formula works either way, but this formula right here is a lot more complicated to look at. You can see all of these different uh, parentheses at the very end um, versus uh, if I do undo, you can see how my formula is just a lot easier to read. I can say, okay, here's my or statement that ends there. Here's an if statement that ends there, which uh, then goes into the next if statement from our first one. So uh, play with it, learn it, like it. So spaces and alt enter for hard returns and uh, you will have better formulas that you can uh, use and uh, know how to edit a lot more quickly. Thanks for watching my video. Remember to hit the like button and leave a comment. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my video channel by clicking on the EDT logo and then scroll down and click on the bell icon to turn on notifications. If you need more details or links, click on the step-by-step -step image. Finally, check out these other videos you might also like.